Well, hi there. I'm here today with what might be the very most common pet shop reptile, at least in the United States, which is the Carolina anole, or green anole, or Carolina anole, or green anole, depending on whether or not you pronounce anole correctly, and I usually don't. So expect to hear it both ways throughout this video. Know that I know what the correct pronunciation is, and that doesn't help me. But I love these guys. They're really incredible lizards. I, I think it's unfortunate for them that they are so inexpensive. If this were a very expensive lizard, this would be just spectacular. They are such wonderful little lizards. They've got color changing ability, uh, very much like a chameleon. They can go from brown to really bright green. You can see right now this girl is about halfway in between. They've got this huge, especially on the males, this huge bright red dewlap. It's like a big flag that comes out of their chin and they use that to communicate all kinds of cool things. And if you have a male anole, you will see this display rather often and it is so cool. They also have little crests that can emerge from their back. A lot of anoles have that. You'll only see them occasionally. A lot of times when they're displaying like they do with that, that dewlap flag. They're very, very personable lizards. Um, as we'll discuss here in a minute, you know, actually not great for handling, but they become very accustomed to your presence. They'll come eat right out of your hand. They're just really cool lizards. They also can climb right up glass surfaces like a gecko because they've got very similar toe pads, but then they've got cool eyeballs like a chameleon. We've talked before in our video about five more of the best pet lizards you could possibly get about the bearded anole. And a lot of the anoles have eyes that are very, very much like chameleon eyes in that they're moving and they're moving independently and you can watch them shifting and they're extremely expressive. The, the faces on these guys, they are so expressive, so interactive. Absolutely one of the most fun lizards you could possibly watch. Uh, anoles across the board are super rad and the Carolina anole is, see, the Carolina anole is definitely a, a, a stinking rad lizard. Let's just put it that way. But is it the right pet lizard for you? We give the Carolina anole or green, oh, or green anole an overall score of 3.6 out of 5, which isn't a super high score for a lizard that is everywhere and costs five dollars and is stinking rad, but I think we'll be able to explain why it gets that score. And that's going to come down to our five categories, which are handleability, care, hardiness, availability, and upfront costs. When it comes to handleability, we give the green anole a score of three out of five. Uh, this one actually is doing really well for handling, and I've I've actually even captured green anoles in the wild, and within a few minutes you can get them to be like this. But believe me, when I first pulled her out of her enclosure, she was nothing like this. These lizards are very, very fast. I was actually quite concerned that we might lose her here in our studio. That would be the first time we've ever lost an animal permanently in our studio. But I, I, I was concerned that that might happen with this lizard. I'm starting to feel a lot better about her now. But we've been handling her for probably like 15 minutes, and, and she's calmed down quite nicely. But generally speaking, when they're warm and when they're not accustomed to handling, they can run away. They're going to run away. They jump. They run. They can run right up a wall. They're going to get away from you as quickly as they can. And that's not ideal if you want a lizard that you can pick up easily. They're also very delicate. You certainly don't want to try to grab this lizard. This is a lizard that you handle it by letting it walk on you. And that's it. I mean, I, I never grab them. They can drop this tail, can and will drop their tail, which would be a bummer because it's actually most of their body length and it's a very cool little tail. And then on top of that, their whole body is just small and delicate. And you could easily crush or injure a green anole with really any sort of grabbing of it. I definitely, definitely would recommend not letting small children handle that. 
One of the most unfortunate things about how available and inexpensive these lizards are is that they frequently become pets for children. And children are probably the worst people to own a green anole. For starters, like we've been talking about, they're very delicate and children are not going to be careful in handling them. And I would guess a large percentage of all pet anoles end up getting killed uh, due to errors made during handling. Like I said, they will drop this tail. They can regrow it, sort of, but it'll never be the same as it was. So that's definitely something you want to avoid. But it could get much worse than that, because with rough handling, such a small and delicate lizard can easily be injured or even killed. They can potentially stress, especially if you're handling them violently and trying to subdue them. Handling them like this, if you can get them calm enough so that they will stay on you, they're probably not going to stress out very much. If, if you notice, her breathing isn't even accelerated or anything. She's not acting like a stressed lizard at all. In fact, I think she just appreciates the fact that my hands are warm. But generally speaking, anoles are probably best served as a watch, but don't handle sort of a pet. That doesn't mean that you can't interact with them. They'll come and eat right out of your hand. They're great. They're very, very personable. In fact, you know, a lot of them will probably come right out and jump onto your hands when you open the enclosure. But if they don't do this, I would say don't reach in and try to grab it. When it comes to care, we give the Carolina Anoli a score of 3 out of 5. The care for these lizards is not overly complicated, but it is far more challenging than most people purchasing a $5 lizard are prepared to offer. For starters, uh, humidity and misting are going to be very important for these lizards. That's something you're going to need to do every day, either with a, a misting bottle or a, a misting system. So. That is some daily maintenance that these guys definitely need. Uh, on top of that, they're going to need insect feeders on a regular basis. And those insect feeders, uh, a wide variety of them, they'll eat about any insect feeder that moves a lot and uh, that they can easily swallow. So, you know, nothing too large, but they will eat a, a wide variety of insect feeders and that would be for the best. And we'll have links to those down in the description. When you feed them, definitely uh, at least once a week it would be a good idea, in fact necessary, to dust those with vitamin supplements and calcium supplements uh, with D3 because this is a diurnal lizard. And, and also being a diurnal lizard they're going to need basking lights. That's both the UVA heat bulbs and the UVB ultraviolet bulbs. Now this is a big deal because a UVB bulb especially costs several times as much as an anole. And so most people aren't going to provide that for them, and they're not going to, they are not going to thrive without that. The enclosure that, that you'll want for these guys, actually they do really well in a, in a tropical sort of bioactive enclosure, a lot like the one that we built. That one is too small though for a green anole. And, and again, this is, this is something that people don't want to provide for. A $5 lizard is a $250 enclosure, but that is what these guys need. That enclosure needs to have good ventilation and so exactly how much ventilation it's going to need because you also need humidity to stay up a little bit. So how much ventilation is going to depend on where you are but you're probably going to want at least a screen lid and in some places perhaps a screen enclosure. But one of the big things with these guys and we've already mentioned this is just that they need space. These guys need to be able to run around a lot. I mean in the wild they're going to be covering a very large territory every day. And so these guys, you can't keep a, a, this $5 lizard in a $5 critter keeper. This is a lizard that needs, honestly, a several hundred dollar enclosure. And most people don't want to provide that for them. When it comes to hardiness, we give the green anole a score of 3 out of 5. Even under the best circumstances, and even if you've got a wild caught baby, they don't live a tremendously long time, right around about 5 years which, you know, is longer than some pets. I mean, that would be a long lifespan for a rat, but for a reptile, that's a pretty short lifespan. And that lifespan you can expect to be even shorter when you're buying a wild-caught adult, which, generally speaking, is what will be available at the pet store. Like I already mentioned, they're delicate lizards. Uh, and so you could easily kill your green anole. I mean, that, this could happen by closing a, a cage door or a, a lid on top of them. It could come from mistakes made while handling them. If they ever get away, they can dehydrate and die in a, a day or two in, inside your home without access to water. So these are, these are issues 
that uh, definitely lead to the deaths of a lot of green anoles. At least for people in the United States, these lizards are not imported from overseas, though most of them are wild caught. And as a result of not being imports, they actually do a lot better than most wild caught reptiles. However, they will still have had access to the wild, so it's very likely that they will have a parasite load when you get them, and almost nobody wants to take a $5 lizard to the vet to get it taken care of, so it's probably just going to be living with those parasites. However, given the proper care that these lizards really require to thrive, which isn't excessive, it's just a level of care that most people do not provide when purchasing a $5 lizard. And as a result, it's a $5 lizard that lasts five days. And that is a tragedy all around, but especially for the lizards. When it comes to availability, we give the Carolina Anoli a score of five out of five. As I mentioned before, this is probably the most available lizard in the United States, period. They're available essentially everywhere reptiles are sold. Finding one that has been captive bred is harder, and that isn't because it's difficult to captive breed Carolina Anolis. In fact, this is one of the, you know, if you were wanting to get your feet wet with breeding reptiles, this would be a great one. And, and colonies of these guys, as long as you keep it to just one male per colony, uh, because the males will fight with one another, but if, if you keep a male and maybe two or three females in an enclosure together, you're going to see some really cool behaviors, and they will lay eggs, and you'll get babies, and they're tiny, so you got to be prepared to feed them, but they are not challenging lizards to breed. The challenge is finding people who are willing to breed lizards that will have to and put a lot of work into raising tiny babies to hopefully sell them competing with $5 wild cod lizards. And so there are really no like breeders, major breeders of Carolina anoles. But you could be one and people have babies periodically. So they are available captive bred and that would definitely be the most responsible way to get one and the way that you could have one that will last the longest and not have the parasite problem. I love these jumps. When it comes to upfront costs, we give the Carolina Anole, or Anoli, a score of 4 out of 5. 4 out of 5 is a lower score than we gave to Crested Geckos. So let that sink in, alright? This is a $5 lizard. And they're great in a lot of ways, but they're more expensive to buy, even up front, if you buy the equipment they need, than it would be to get a crusted gecko. The lizard is almost free. I mean, five to ten dollars. This this particular green anole comes to us from Animal Ark in Orem, Utah, which is one of our favorite pet stores, and they fall right in that price range. They're an Animal Ark the lizard is basically free, and that is why people do not want to pay all these other costs. But they're necessary if you want that lizard to last more than a few days. The enclosure, as we mentioned before, should be large. Honestly, as large as possible. And, and the thing is, the enclosure can be beautiful. I mean, you could decorate it with all kinds of live plants, have it bioactive, like we referenced in our video before. It can be so cool and so beautiful, and these guys make an excellent display lizard in such an enclosure, but those enclosures are expensive. That enclosure should have a lot of vertical space for climbing, but also they'll use ground space as well, so it should be both wide and tall. And as we referenced before, whether you choose glass or screen can depend a lot on what the humidity is like where you live, but I would recommend, generally speaking, a glass enclosure with a screen lid. You definitely need a good lid because these are little lizards and they can climb right up the walls. So if you don't have a good lid on there, they're gone. You're going to need both basking and UVB lamps and bulbs. So that's that's the most expensive lighting you can need essentially for a lizard. You don't need a really hot basking spot for these guys, so it's a relatively small lamp and, and they're small lizards, so it's a small basking area to begin with. But you definitely need that. I would recommend a lot of vines. Uh, there are some really cool flexible vines that you can use that are awesome. Also live plants are amazing in an enclosure for these guys. Honestly, you can make such an incredible display enclosure with 
Carolina and all these. And these are a diurnal lizard, so you're going to see them active all the time. So cool, so cool. You're going to need a substrate that will ho hold some moisture, uh, but not mold. That's really important. As we referenced before, you're going to need a misting bottle at the very least. I would recommend probably a misting system, just so you're not having to be so preoccupied with daily or multiple mistings per day, depending on where you live. And of course, a water bowl. Many of them, they, they all will drink off of leaves, but many of them will also drink out of a small water bowl. So that's a good thing to offer as well. Needless to say, all of these things add up. They add up to a really beautiful enclosure with a really interesting lizard inside but a shockingly high bill for a $5 lizard, I'll tell you that right now. And almost nobody buying Carolina Anolis pays this. And for this reason, I will say, don't get one. Don't, this isn't a good pet lizard unless you're ready to drop the money for it. And, and that is why the Carolina Anoli gets a score of 3.6 out of 5, even though it's an awesome, beautiful, Accessible, inexpensive lizard. The lizard is inexpensive. However, if you are not discouraged by the price of these lizards, get them. Get them. Set up just the coolest bioactive vivarium you can possibly imagine. Get that, like, going a month or two before you even worry about the lizards, because the lizards will always be available. You don't need to buy the lizard until you're ready for it. And then, they are going to be just the best additions to that enclosure. They have so much personality. They're going to be so interactive with you. They'll be potentially handleable, but I wouldn't really count on that. But plan on a, a lizard that you could watch just for hours a day and enjoy the heck out of it. But if you don't plan to spend that money, please don't get one. And hopefully this has been helpful. As always, like and subscribe. Uh, make sure to click that little bell so you get notifications when our, our next videos come out. We've got other videos on different types of anoles coming out very soon as well. So definitely check that out. Also, thank you to our, our patrons over at Patreon. We hope to see you real soon. Nice. That was glorious. You're a pro. Uh, I used to ramp up my level of excitement for these videos mm -hmm. and that was fine right yep now I only bring what is natural to me and it still it's still good. overwhelms people <laughs> so you're still on crack either way yeah yeah I mean I, I you can only be accused of being on drugs so many times well for a person who hasn't done anything even close to a drug <laughs> one of the problems these lizards often run into is the fact that they poop <coughs> Four out of five, just for the record, for upfront costs. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs>